you previously called uh, David Cameron and George Osborne arrogant posh boys who don't <laughs> want to understand the li lives of others or know the price of a pint of milk. But they've done quite well, haven't they, despite that? They have. Um, yeah, they have. I think the Daily Mail, the Mail on Sunday, wrote a headline that, um, which I had nothing to do with, but I'll it was it a lot. <laughs> Does it still matter? No, bang. Does it still Basically, matter? I think, you know, David Cameron came into, he became the leader of the board exactly 10 years ago. And in fact, I We've think it's today, it. isn't it? Yes, so <laughs> 10 years ago. And I think he's travelled a long road. And he is certainly a different person today than he was 10 years ago when he became leader of the Conservative Party. I think that today, I wouldn't make those comments today. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I wouldn't actually. I, I would. I, I'm not saying, I'm not including George Osborne in that okay. comment. <laughs> but in, on David Cameron, I think he is somebody who is now, so, you know, just from, from my own experience, I think as a Prime Minister, that when we went into the election, I, I was actually but, quite pleased that he was the person to take the But do you still think George election. Osborne then is out of touch? Um, you know, I'm not going to make any comments on the chance. Oh, I do. I think I've, I've, I've kind of could like be the shot next, myself could he be the next, a few times. Could he be the next leader? Um, over, um, I would say the answer to that would be no. Over your... No, <laughs> I was going to say, say it. No. <laughs> so really, so George Osborne hasn't made that journey in your mind and David Cameron has. He's still privileged and out of touch in your mind. Look, George Osborne has spent the last 10 years um, giving out sweeties to Conservative backbenchers. Mm. Uh, Labour Party people do it, who are running for, for no leadership as well. No uh, sort of, um, you know, buying the friends, giving out the, the, um, the jobs. You know, he's run out of jobs to be able to give people. He spent 10 years buying votes on the back benches and the front benches too, because he's made those people into positions. So that, so that one day they will vote for George Osborne to be leader. If that happens, then I think what we need to do really in all parties is look at how our political system works, mm. because I don't think it's right that anybody of privilege should be able to come into Parliament and use their privilege and their education, and their background, in order to secure their career progression mm. into the role of Prime Minister in the future. Because if George Osborne becomes Prime Minister, that is how he has done it. Would you leave the party at that point? Well, we may have this discussion another day, <laughs> Joe. Well, we we I most think certainly will. Yeah, you know, we have to put two people forward to the country. I don't believe George Osborne will be in those two people. I put my neck in the ring now and say it will be Boris Johnson and Theresa May.